Let me sit down, we'll have a little talk. Okay. This is our test bench with a clutch pedal. Of course, we have a clutch over here. Right here is a clutch switch. Now, the one on the car needs to be adjustable and not just a push button switch like this. You can set it up however you like. What it needs to do is it needs to know exactly when you lift your foot off the clutch pedal off the floor. If you can hear that click, that's our switch. So as soon as I release the clutch pedal, that switch needs to open because the controller needs to know the position of that. Because normal clutch operation, the first three inches doesn't do anything. It's this last inch right here where the clutch is starting to bite or engage that we need to have control of. So when you dump the clutch, there's a period of time that passes between this point here and the point that it starts to bite. And we need to, we need to be able to dial that in. We're going to use the app to do that. And first, we're going to find that bite point using the bite screen. All right, so we want to get the back end of the car up in the air so that we can turn the tires. And we want to set it up in gear with the key on, not running, obviously, but just ignition on. Okay, so now I'm just going to show the bite screen setup. We're going to go ahead and connect to the app. It's going to connect to the um, Bluetooth controller. And we're going to go to the bite screen. So here we're going to set our initial delay for say 10 milliseconds and the whole time is set for 15 seconds so that's so I have time to get out check the tire see if it's gonna turn I'm gonna stop the video real quick here it is very very important that you do not push the clutch pedal in while it's during that 15 second or less because it's adjustable hold time because you could do a double pump on the clutch and blow the seals out of your hydraulic release bearing or your slave cylinder see on my screen the flashing light tells me that the bank shift billy is ready to party so we're going to dump the clutch and then i'll go check the tires okay since the tires turn there's not quite enough bite so we'll add a little bit try five milliseconds and try it again Okay, so once we've determined the bite point, we're going to go to the launch builder screen. And it's going to carry over the delay that we had. But because we're then going to be adding power, we need to add like 30 milliseconds to this. So 10 plus 30 is 40 milliseconds. And then we want to go test it. And our launch slip, the uh, preset value is 2 seconds. Probably want to try it at more like 1 second or 3 quarters of a second. But we'll set that and then we can turn the app off to test it will save it in the controller let's try it out There you have it, super easy to adjust with the app on your phone. This took 12 minutes to make seven launches and get it dialed in. Imagine that with an adjustable slipper clutch, It'd probably take you half the day. And this thing will work at the track with a few milliseconds changes here or there, and it'll work as well as a slipper clutch. So go out and bang some gears and enjoy your street car.